Hi, my name is Anthony G with the product development team and today I'll show you how to set up and properly calibrate your 3D printer from Monoprice. First, gather the box on the floor or table and have a clean, flat surface such as a desk ready. Remove the top accessory boxes where you'll find the power supply cable, extra replacement sensor cable, USB cable, filament guide tubes, and filament brackets. Remove them from the box and set them aside. Gently lift the printer out of the box by grasping the outer frame only and set it on your work surface. Remove all bubble wrap and cable ties. Now you will see a large box with a black wire which contains the dual extruder assembly, SD card, and tools. Set this box out of the way. Raise the build platform in order to pull out the filament. Now you will install the extruder. Remove the tool bag and the SD card. You'll need the two 3 inch socket head cap screws as well as the appropriate hex wrench from the bolt tool bag. Lower the build platform by gently pushing down. Next, take the extruder and position it on the X-axis gantry with the fan facing forward. Align the two screw holes and fasten. Install the filament brackets by inserting them into the circular openings on the back of the printer and tightening the nut on the other side near the heating plate. Install the filament guide tubes by locking them in place on the back panel of the printer. To keep the guide tubes out of the way, connect them to the holes on the top of the dual extruder. The printer comes with two 1 kg spools of PLA filament. Place the spools on the spindles and load the right spindle clockwise and the left spindle counterclockwise. If the ends of the filament are bent, clip the ends with a wire cutter. the printer and use the menu to select Utilities, Change Filament, Load Right. At this time the printer will heat up the extruder to 220 degrees and then follow the commands on the printer to load the filament. Next, load the left filament in the same way you loaded the right. To level the build plate, navigate the menu system to the option entitled Level Build Plate. Follow the instructions on the printer as it moves through several points on the plate. In order to calibrate, you will adjust the three knob screws on the bottom of the plate. Turning the knobs counterclockwise will move the build plate up, whereas turning them clockwise will move the build plate down. You can use a small sheet of paper to make sure the distance between the nozzle and build plate is not too far and not too close. In the correct position, the paper will barely scrape through the gap between the nozzle and build plate. Now you're ready to start printing. The SD card provided comes preloaded with some test files. Insert the SD card into the printer and navigate the menu system to Build from SD. Select one of the files to start the printing process. The printer will begin heating up and once it starts printing, watch closely to determine if adjustments are needed to level the plate. Here are some helpful tips to make sure your prints are successful. Remember to clean your Kapton tape on the heated build plate of any oils or dust after every print or replace the tape as necessary. A good tip to help with adhesion is to use blue painter's tape which can be used for both ABS and PLA filament. Other methods of dealing with adhesion issues include making your own ABS glue and even using hairspray. If you're having a problem removing the print from your build plate, just select preheat in the menu system to heat the plate. 
If you want to reposition the extruder or build plate, go to Utilities, then select Jog Mode in the menu. If you are having difficulties extruding filament, it might be due to the extruder being clogged. You can use any type of metal wire, such as a guitar string that is less than 0.4 mm, to insert into the nozzle to help clear the jam. If you are still unable to clear the jam, start by removing the fan and heat sink from the stepper motor. Remove any filament that is wrapped around the stepper motor gear. Or remove the spring release if needed to get to the extruder hole to pull out any jammed filament. If you have any further questions, please leave your messages in the comments below or contact our tech support team at monoprice.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this, and thanks for watching.